The Art of Symmetry, Wes Anderson's Painting Style Wes Anderson is a renowned filmmaker who has created a distinctive visual style in his movies. His style, characterized by meticulous symmetry, a minimal color palette, and a nod toward nostalgia, appeals to film buffs and artificianados alike. One of the most striking features of Anderson's style is his use of symmetry. He often frames his scenes with perfect balance, creating a sense of order and harmony. He also uses tracking shots, which capture gliding panoramas to create movement in his scenes. These techniques give his films a painterly quality, as if each shot is a carefully composed canvas. Another element of Anderson's style is his color palette. He tends to work within the Art Nouveau style, which is often described as sinuous, rhythmical, and dreamlike. He filters color to bring out the mood and tone of his stories, using pastels, earth tones, or monochrome schemes depending on the context. He also contrasts patterns and textures to create visual interest and depth. Finally, Anderson's style is influenced by nostalgia. He draws inspiration from various sources, such as vintage books, magazines, photographs, and artworks. He also references historical periods and cultures, such as the 1960s, India, or Eastern Europe. He creates a sense of whimsy and wonder in his films, inviting the audience to enter a different world. Some examples of Anderson's artworks that showcase his painting style are The Grand Budapest Hotel 2014. This film is set in a fictional European country in the 1930s. It features a symmetrical pink hotel as the main setting, contrasted with the snowy mountains and forests around it. The color palette is mostly pastel, with touches of red and purple to highlight the drama and romance of the story. The Royal Tenenbaums 2001 this film is set in New York City in the present day. It follows the lives of a dysfunctional family of former child prodigies. The film uses a lot of symmetry and tracking shots to create a comic effect. The color palette is mostly earthy, with browns, greens, and yellows dominating the scenes. The film also references various artworks, such as paintings by Edward Hopper and David Hockney. The Darjeeling Limited 2007, this film is set in India where three brothers go on a spiritual journey after their father's death. The film uses a lot of asymmetry and movement to capture the chaos and beauty of India. The color palette is vibrant and colorful, with blues, oranges, and pinks reflecting the culture and landscape of India. The film also incorporates Indian art and motifs, such as mandalas and elephants. In conclusion, Wes Anderson's painting style is a unique blend of symmetry, color, and nostalgia. He uses these elements to create captivating stories that transport the audience to different worlds. His films are not only entertaining, but also artistic masterpieces that deserve appreciation and admiration.